Hello, my name is Danish from the AWS office in Bengaluru. Today, I'm going to show you how you can fix your AWS code pipeline when it runs twice. Let's get started. First, it's important to identify the reason why the pipeline is being triggered twice. We can do so by opening our code pipeline console and then navigating to the pipeline that gets triggered twice. We'll view the pipeline execution history by going to the history section of the pipeline. In the trigger column, check to see if there are any duplicate Amazon CloudWatch events rule triggered or polling trigger launches of the pipeline. If there are duplicate CloudWatch event rule triggered launches, we must delete or disable the duplicate rule. To do this, we can open the duplicate event rule directly by choosing it. And then delete the redundant rule. Or if there are polling triggered launches of the pipeline, we must fix the pipeline by modifying its definition. Please note that it's important to understand that the steps to fix the pipeline depend on its mode of creation. That is, if you created the pipeline using AWS CloudFormation, then you must update it with an update operation on the CloudFormation stack. If you created the pipeline from the API, AWS command line interface, or the console, you can use the AWS CLI to fix it. We'll discuss both approaches here. Let's first talk about the steps required to fix a pipeline that was created with CloudFormation. We log into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudFormation Console, and then open the stack that created the pipeline. We'll update this stack with a modified pipeline definition. We must explicitly set the poll for source changes property field to false because it's implicitly set to its default value of true when the pipeline was created with CloudFormation. We can now proceed with the stack update operation. Next, let's talk about the steps required to fix the pipeline when it was created by API, CLI, or the console. Open the terminal or command prompt. Let's retrieve and then copy the current pipeline definition to a file named pipeline.json by running the get pipeline CLI command as follows. Open the pipeline.json file in a text editor and add the poll for source changes parameter to the configuration section. Set the parameter to false. Before we save the file, we'll remove the metadata section. Doing this makes the pipeline.json file usable with the update pipeline command. We can now save the file. To apply these changes to the pipeline, we'll run the update pipeline command as follows. As you can see, we're passing the pipeline.json file as an input to this command. The pipeline will now be triggered just once for each source change detected. 
Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.